self-hosted REST microservice using OWIN and ASP.NET Web API 2. OWIN is the open web interface for .NET, in case you haven't heard of it. First, we're going to open up Visual Studio Express for desktop. And I'm going to create a new project, C Sharp App, a console application. I'm going to call it Sean's Owen REST service. There we go. Excellent. It's very, very basic. The first thing we need to do before we start is to get the required packages from the package manager console. I need two packages. I need to install the package microsoft.asp.net.webapi.owin self host. And this will host the little service I built in its own um, process. And I also need to install cause support. I need to include cores because I need to enable cross-origin resource sharing because the service will be hosted on a different URI than the uh, web application that I'll demo in a sec. Next step, you need to right-click the project and add a new class. We'll call it startup.cs. We're just going to replace the boilerplate code here with this. Right click the project again, we'll add a new class and we'll call this websites controller.cs and we'll replace the default boilerplate code with this code. Let's go down to program.cs now and let's replace the boilerplate code here with this. And build it. Succeeded. Let's start it. Open up a web browser and visit the web page. And there we go, and that's the response. That's a JSON response from the new little self-hosted service that we just created. That's it, that's a little console, and that will run forever. And that's the response. And we can look at a specific, pass in a specific ID. There we go. Let's look at zero. Yeah, there's another one, birdmmo.com. Three, another one. Now let's create a simple web page to display and manage that data. We'll leave that running and we'll just exit. Uh, we'll leave that running. And now we'll open up Visual Studio Express for web. Create a new project, C Sharp Web, ASP.web asp.net web application, press OK, leave it default, empty project, we're not going to host it in the cloud, we don't need to include anything else, we just want a simple HTML page. Add HTML page, we'll call it index.html. Now we copy and paste this uh, over the code with this new code and run it. And there we go. We're getting our data from the self hosted REST service. We can even look at a specific ID here. There we go. And 
and that's it. There's the URI, API websites, 8080, if we open up the, the service code, we can see how that relates. So my base address was set here in program.cs. And when we start the web app, we tell it what address we want. And it's going to have a look at the startup class. Startup class says enable cause. We need that, otherwise we won't get any data. I'll just demonstrate that for you actually, quickly, what that looks like. Now if I start that up, excellent, it's running again. Go to the browser and right refresh, we get no data. If I look over here in the developer tools and refresh that again, it says my address is not found in the access control allow origin header. So I enable cause and I ensure that in the controller we have enable cause here with our origin set to you know everything. And then run it. It's running again. If I refresh, that's good. We've got it. 